Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new face, thank you for clicking on this video. So for today's video, I really wanted to do a declutter. I have been wanting to declutter my makeup collection for a little while now. So I think I want to go through like my entire makeup collection. So anything that's like super old, I'm going to throw away. Anything that like I wouldn't want to donate, I'll give to like friends or family. And then anything that like hasn't been used or can be like super easily sanitized, then I'll probably donate that. So let's get on with it. Okay, so this is my makeup room. Basically over here, I just have like perfumes, Kylie stuff, um, just random stuff here. All of my Kylie boxes have faded from being in the sun, which is super annoying, but like whatever. I'm not gonna declutter any of that because like, I like them and I use them. This is where I store my eyeshadow palettes. It's actually like a shoe rack from Ikea, but I keep eyeshadows in there. I've got my little vanity. So I've got Alex drawers and I keep like lipsticks and stuff in here. And I've got like foundations, concealers, blush, all of that stuff there. So um, I don't really know where I'll start. I might start over at eyeshadows. So starting from the top compartment of the palette, please excuse the fact that I'm in my pajamas. I just want to be comfortable. They've got three Too Faced palettes. We've got the Natural Eyes, the Peanut Butter and Jelly, and the Peanut Butter Honey palette. I love these. I haven't used them in a while, but I'm not getting rid of them. This is the Natural Eyes Peanut Butter and Jelly and Peanut Butter Honey. How cool is that palette? Next, we have this little lip palette by BH Cosmetics. I don't think I'm gonna keep this because I like I don't really use it. This here is the Essence All About Bronze palette. Now these are all shimmers and this is actually really beautiful. I might keep this for now. Next up, we have an Hourglass Eyeshadow Palette. This is Exposure. This is gorgeous, but I don't really use it. I feel like mum would really like this. I'm not really gonna use it. I think I might give that to mum. So next we have a Sports Girl Palette. This is the Metallic Edit Baked Iron Cheek Palette. That's what it looks like there. That's what it looks like there. I feel like I have better eyeshadows that I would actually use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, next we have a Sleek Palette. Oh, this is cool. This is the Snapshots Palette. This is all like cool, fun colors. So I think I'll keep that for when I want to be colorful. So the lid's broken on this one and some eyeshadow just broke. So this is another sleek palette. This is the Oh So Special palette. The last time I did some decluttering, I said that I would get rid of this one if I hadn't used it and I hadn't touched it. We have the Shanexo BH Cosmetics palette. This is the one with the lipstick on the other side. Absolutely keeping this. I love it. I use it all the time. Next we have the Smashbox Full Exposure palette. I might get rid of this actually because I don't really use it ever. Okay, so next up is the Too Faced Love palette. One of the eyeshadows is broken on here. I got this from Smash and Grab at Mecca. What that is, is when you work at Mecca and like any products, like something gets broken, like an eyeshadow gets broken or it's swatched and it um, starts to hit pan or less than I think it was um, two thirds full. It goes into Smash and Grab and then at our monthly meetings, we all got a bag of the stuff. I got this from Smash and Grab. I really like it, but I have honestly never used this. So I'm gonna see if Mama Sam want it. Okay, next we have the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. And I'm definitely gonna keep this. Michael bought it for me for Valentine's Day, so I'm not gonna throw it away. I actually don't use this a lot though. I feel like the pigmentation isn't really there for some of the shades. You kind of have to work a lot to get pigment. So I'm still gonna keep it, but it's not my favorite in the world. Okay, next we have the NYX Avant Pop palette. I haven't actually used this yet, so I'm gonna keep it. So next up, we have three palettes by Chi Chi. We've got the OMFG, the bronzers, and the spices. I actually really like Chi Chi eyeshadow palettes. I think they're really good quality for money. I only wanna keep one, either the spices or the bronzers. Um, I'm gonna keep spices, cause that really called my name. Okay, this is the OMFG. Oh, that's starting to smell kind of off, so I'm just gonna throw that away. We've got the Morphe 350, which I'm definitely keeping, cause look how gorgeous. Next, we have the BH Cosmetics Nude Lips um, 28 Color Palette. I'm gonna keep this, cause it's fun to use. This here is from eBay. It's the Miss Rose Professional Makeup Delicately Wet Eyeshadow 3D 48 Color Palette. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna get rid of it. I bought this like ages ago. It's actually like really great pigmentation. Like I'll swatch a couple for you. 
that's what it looks like there. So yeah, really pretty, but it smells a bit funky, so that's gonna be thrown away. All right, so next we have like a little Z palette. I'm gonna keep everything in here except for the concealer at the top by MAC because it's a bit old, and one of the eyeshadows has broken and really, really messed up, so I'm gonna throw that away too. Got a little blue stand that I keep on one of my Alex drawers of my like favorite, most used eyeshadow palettes, so we'll go through those. All right, so this is the stand. I feel like a really good idea might be to like rotate them so I'm not constantly using the same ones because they're at arm's length. If I like keep rotating them, I'll use them more. That's a great idea. Alright, so first up we have the Naked Heat palette by Urban Decay. This is absolutely beautimous. We have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Again, absolutely beautiful. These are all mattes. Next we have the Urban Decay Naked Original. I will always love this palette. It is so beautiful. Next is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love the shades in this. I think it's really beautiful, but I find these kind of hard to blend out. Okay, so you have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I love the Too Faced Palettes. I think they're Gorgeous. We have this Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette. I love this palette. Again, it's just really gorgeous. The colors, like especially this one, so beautiful. Next, we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This is like probably my most loved palette. Next, we have the BH Cosmetics Backlight Highlight palette. Now, this is super cool. So it's a highlighting palette, but with all like duochrome color shades. So this drawer here is for obviously like pigments, um, single eyeshadows, little glitter that sort of thing. I got these little dividers I think from the reject shop. They're um, cutlery holders and they clip together. Um, what I might do is take them all out and then I will add them back in. First off we've got the Stila Magnificent Metal um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm gonna keep all of these by Terry Ombre Black Star. This is your Misty Rock. This is a roll-on shimmer by NYX. Oh, actually, that's really pretty. This here is a NYX Glam Shadow Stick. Eh. I'm gonna get rid of that. These here are little um, loose pigment glittery type things. I got these from um, Beauty Net Korea. I haven't used them yet, so I'm gonna keep them. So I've got some pigments from MAC. This one here is Melon, and this is Kitchmas. I'm gonna keep both of those. This here is a pigment from Sleek. We've got this Ultra Pearl Mania from NYX. I'm gonna get rid of that. We've got a Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the shade Bad to the Bronze. That's what it looks like. This is pretty old. There's barely any pigment left, so I'm just gonna chuck that away. This is Vintage Metallic Eyeshadow Base from Illamasqua in the shade Courtier. That's quite pretty. I'll keep that for now. Next, we have this eyeshadow by ColourPop. This is Birthday Cake. I really like this color. So we have some metallic eyeshadows by Astralis. I'm gonna keep, I think, all of these because I really like them. I have these two single eyeshadows from Essence. Cardio All Night and Starlight. And it's kind of powdery. I'll get rid of that. No, nah, I'll get rid of those. This is a single eyeshadow from the brand Cargo. It's in the shade Cypress. I've never used this before. Oh, it's just like a matte brown. I mean, it's pretty. I just don't know if I'm ever going to use it. I've got these two single eyeshadows by Sephora. We've got Girl Talk and Hollywood's Calling. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're staying. I've got a NARS single eyeshadow. This is the shade Ondine. I actually don't use this anymore. I love Loved it way back when. I'm gonna keep it, but I don't really use it. This is Call Me by Chi Chi. I'm gonna keep that because I use it all the time. This is Ultra Suede by Napoleon. I actually quite like this, and I also really like to use it as a highlighter sometimes because it's like really pretty and shimmery when you blend it out. So I'll keep that. Next up, we have a whole bunch of single eyeshadows from Urban Decay. Now, these ones are the Moon Dust shadows, which I love so I'm gonna keep all of them these are what they look like here then we just have <laughs> ignore Agora then we just have some regular Urban Decay eyeshadows we've got Toasted, SWF, Fireball and Backfire I'm gonna get these three definitely and I'm gonna have a look at Toasted that's beautiful I'm pretty sure I have that in one of the palettes though so I'm gonna get rid of that one okay so this here is like my foundation concealer powder drawer I've been wanting to go through this for a while because I feel a little bit overwhelmed so this these I'll definitely keep. This is like pretty old, so I'm probably, I'll just throw that away. We've got a little Sheer Expert by By Terry. We'll leave them there for now, but they might be thrown away. Laura Messier, I'll keep that for now. I actually really love this foundation. This is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It's really good. Um, this is quite old. I want, just want to see how it applies. Yeah, I'm throwing that away like it's kind of gross. This here, I'm going to donate that. This is the lighter shade that they have and it just like, it's so dark for me. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade Fair. 
and it's like zero percent fair i might actually keep it because i want to like start fake tanning of this foundation the l'oreal infallible 24 hour matte this is a great foundation this is the etude house double lasting foundation i got this from beauty net korea love it it's so good this is one of my new favorite foundations this is the maybelline super c 24 hour full coverage foundation i love this these are by the ordinary so we've got the serum foundation and the coverage foundation these are both great and they're like $12 from Doll Beauty so I'll keep those my favorite BB cream this is I don't know the brand of it but it's a full cover again it's another Korean one I'm definitely keeping that I think I might get rid of this because it's pretty old again that's pretty separated I'm gonna get rid of that we've got a Garnier BB cream yeah I'll keep that we've got some samples I'll just keep those because you never know when you might want some samples we've got a bunch of primers which I'll keep I'm not gonna get rid of any of the primers because I like them all I'll just move them down Concealers, I'm pretty happy to keep them all. I feel like I really don't know about these. I'm going to get rid of this. I'll keep this one for now. Here I have my cushion foundations. I'm obsessed with these. One is by Etude House and this one is by Secret Key. This is by Manic Panic. This is what I use to mix into foundations that are slightly too dark for me. This is Dim Light by Hourglass. I know that there's a small amount left, but I'm still going to keep it because... I'll diffuse light, sorry. I'm still going to keep it because I'll use it all up. This is their ambient powder wardrobe i'll keep it because of that shade at the back this is by urban decay i'm still going to keep this it's slightly too dark for all over my face but it's really good um, to use on my cheeks where i have a lot of scarring i really like this powder i'll keep that laura mercier keep that this is the bare minerals well rested concealer i really like this one so i'll keep that this is by lacura this is an aldi brand this is pretty old and obviously it's like almost done so i'm just going to chuck it away but i do quite like this powder this is by rimmel i'm going to keep that too to use the rest of it. Here I've just got some under eye setting powders. So I'll keep all of those. This powder here by R RCMA, which I love. So I'll definitely keep that. Got a fix plus. It's got a like tiny amount left. I'm still going to keep that. Okay, so this drawer, I've got blushes, bronzers, highlighters. I feel like I'm probably not going to get rid of much in here. Because I pretty much love everything. But I'll still go through it just in case. But these two face palettes here, which I love. We've got an e.l.f bronzer which is actually really great Got laguna here which is almost empty so i need to repurchase that soon this here is one of my favorite bronzers it's by Too faced it's the leopard uh, pink leopard bronzer it's beautiful Got hula light and hula these here are by exo beauty and i love them they're their radiant glow powders so they're really subtle they give like a really pretty glow but i actually love 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 using them as all over face powders because they just give such a gorgeous glow these dividers by the way i got from vanity collections and they've got them specifically for the ikea alex drawers i've got two fenty highlighters this here is light scapade and soft and gentle by mac this is actually really pretty it's by model co and it's really gorgeous when you blend it out a loose highlighter by bare minerals which is really pretty we've got a highlighter by three concept eyes which i love this one here is gorgeous too by city and color or oh, city color yeah that's really gorgeous but it's starting to smell so i'm gonna throw that away back here we've got this highlighter by essence this is a cream to powder highlighter that's quite pretty but i feel like i never use it i don't know i'll keep it for now i'll give it a try and then if i don't like it or if i I never end up using it. I'll just get rid of it. These are all some highlighters by ColourPop. I love ColourPop highlighters. Got this little highlighter sample by Hourglass, which I really like. Got Albatross by NARS, which I love. It gives like a bit of a yellow gold reflect to the skin. It's just beautiful. Got these two highlighters by Kylie Cosmetics, which I love. Got some MAC blushes, which I'm going to keep. Kylie blush. This here is by Essence. I think I might get rid of this one. It's like an ombre blush. Very pigmented. Yeah, I'll get rid of that because I don't use it. I've got a blush by Sleek. This is gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of Orgasm by NARS. Okay, we've got this blush by OXS. This is by Kmart. I actually really like this. Like, it's kind of powdery, but I really like the peachy color. I actually wore this the other day. Yeah, I'll keep that for now too. Okay, so here we have some little um, blush singles by Too Faced. This here is a little Benetint. tint. I'm not going to use it. I'll get rid of that. This is beautiful. This is Risqué by Tarte. This is Deep Throat by NARS. This here is Diffused Heat by Hourglass. California Glow. California. We've got two baked 
blushes by Too Faced. I love these. I don't wear this one as often, but it's still quite pretty because it's like very pink. And then this is like my all time favorite blush. I don't have a lid from it. This is Candy Glow and this is just so so beautiful, like it's just very glowy. We've got these two blushes by Too Faced. They don't have lids. They were smash and grab from Mecca as well. This one is Love Hangover, which I've got as the little. So I'm gonna chuck that away. And then this one here I don't have, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna keep it. I mean, it's pretty. No, I'm gonna get rid of it because I feel like it's not the most hygienic to not have a lid on it. This here is Yacht Life by Fenty. It's super beautiful. This here is called Bittersweet by Urban Decay. It's a really cool blush color. I'm obviously never gonna use it, so I'm gonna give that away. This is a Napoleon blush, which I actually really, really like. Let me mix all the colors together. But it's like really peachy, like kind of bronzy. I really like that, that can stay. This here is a loose blush, which I'm, I think I might get rid of because I'm never gonna use it. I just don't use loose blushes. Oh, it's really pretty though. I mean, I think I said that last time though. You know what? I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to use it. Someone else can enjoy that. We've got these brushes. These come in like benefit blushes and stuff. I'm going to get rid of them. I don't use them. We've got a little bronzer by Clinique. This is a little sample. That's pretty. I'll keep that. And then we've got this. This is like a contour color that I like to use sometimes. So this drawer here is like random palettes that like don't fit in my top thing. This is the Kylie Royal Peach. I love this color. It's so beautiful. I'm probably going to keep most of this stuff to be honest. This is the Tardis Pro Glow Contour Palette. Definitely going to keep that. This here is by Bare Minerals. I'm going to keep this one too because it's like a good travel palette. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't use it. It's by Australis. Since I got that, I don't use it. So I'll get rid of that. This is an Hourglass Limited Edition palette that I'm definitely going to keep. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette, which I really like. This is the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA Eclipse highlighter. I keep it in this because it doesn't fit in these. This is so cool. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow Palette. Here we've got the Kylie Bronze Palette, which I really love. So here we have my lipstick drawer. So it's all like bullet lipsticks. My sister made these dividers for me so that I could store all my lipsticks in the short drawer. There are some dividers from Vanity Collections, but I'm pretty sure it's like half bullets and then half liquid lipsticks. So they go in the deeper drawers and this is one of the smaller ones. Now here are all my MAC lipsticks. I keep them in the boxes. I don't know why. We've got Brave here, which I love. Blankety is probably like my favorite lipstick because it's like kind of like a cream amplified formula but it's kind of creamy and it's like just a perfect nude I've got a bunch of the um, Gian Battista Valley collection this is like one of my favorite reds ever so beautiful so I went through and smelt all of them and I found three that I can't keep they don't smell like they're good for me anymore and I'm so depressed pink plaid whirl and Velvet Teddy, ugh. So I'm gonna repurchase Whirl and Velvet Teddy, definitely. I also found this one here. It hasn't gone bad. I wouldn't donate it though. It's not a color I would ever wear anymore because it's like a really bright kind of purple. What is this? Okay, I've never even opened this. Well, that's quite pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm keeping that. 140 Rose Records. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Totally keeping that. 510 Mayfair Red Lady. Oh my god, yes. Okay, totally keeping all of those. Okay, here we have some NARS lipsticks. This one here is Anita Audrey. Oh, what the? Oh my god, seriously? <gasps> no! The actual lipstick came out of the thing. Oh, that's so frustrating. Lana, oh fuck. Yeah, okay, this is because they're upside down and these are expensive too. All right, I'm not gonna keep them upside down anymore, which is gonna be super annoying because I'm not gonna know what the color is. Oh, this one doesn't have a lid. Oh, this was from Smash and Grab and it didn't have a lid because it was a tester. Yeah, I think I might just chuck that away because it's probably not good for it to not have a lid. This is the color Niagara. Um, I'll throw that away because it's quite old. Again, from Smash and Grab. This is Smashbox now. This is the color Konya. That is so dry. Throwing that away. This is Mauve. I love this color. So that can stay. Tabloid. I mean, that's a cool color, but I'd never wear it. Next, we have some lipsticks by Illamasqua. This is the color Cherub. Oh, beautiful. Keeping. This is Vampette. That smells like it's gone bad. So this is by Mina. This is the color 304. 
that's a pretty nude that can stay then we have some by kit which is a brand that used to be a part of mecca but isn't anymore this is the color timekeeper beautiful this is the they're real double the lip lipstick by benefit so these are the ones that have like the two in one i don't know how much i love these like the kind of the concept i don't really get but like i'm gonna keep it and then this is 1995 by gerard cosmetic i find this is quite dry but it's pretty okay then we've got the chi chi lipsticks i love these i think they're really great sex bomb oh i forgot this one's broken but I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to throw this away. It's like too broken. And these are sports girl lipsticks. Got the shade Gossip. Okay, I think I'm gonna throw that away. This one here is Blue Crush, which I've worn a couple of times, but I'm gonna throw it away because like I don't use it. This is by Australis. It's a color inject lipstick. This is the shade Grunge. Oh, that smells bad. Chucking that away. Got some Sephora lipsticks here. This is Bewitch Me. I might actually see if like Mum or Sam wants that because I've got colors similar to that already. This is by Madakuda. It's Bliss. Oh, that's beautiful. This is by Glamnation. This is called Mystic Heather. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't really use that color. Okay, we've got some Essence lipsticks. This is Come Naturally. Oh, that's pretty. This is Porcelain Doll. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I wouldn't use that color. Ow, my legs are getting sore. Okay, this is by Lipstick Queen. It's Pink Sinner. Oh, that's like tiny. I mean, it's pretty, but like, no. This is by Kmart again. It's OXS. This is like a pretty color. Isn't that good? Yeah, I'll keep that. Cabaret Blend by Milani. I never liked the smell of this, so I never wore it because it smells like fake cherries, but the color is beautiful. Ugh, I'll get rid of it. This I've had for ages. This is by Maybelline. This is called Mauve Mystique. It's a, like a glossy thing. Oh, that smells rank. That's things right away. So this drawer is lip glosses, lipsticks, um, like tall lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks, lip liners. I don't think I'll declutter any lip liners because I pretty much use them all except for these I'll go through and I've got a couple of perfumes at the end. So here we've got some Jeffree Star and then here we have a bunch of Kat Von D. Got a Too Faced lipstick that Jade got me that I love. Oh we have some Lime Crime that like I don't really use anymore. I'll give them a swatch. I still love these colors though. Okay so up here I've got some Too Faced lipsticks. I'm not gonna declutter those because I really like them. But Opera Laguna Beach, I think this is, but I love this. Oh, this is a sports girl lip chalk that I actually love. I feel like they're pretty good. They kind of remind me of the Australis um, Velour Lip. So we've got some Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick, some Stila Liquid Lipstick. What is this down here? This is a tiny little, it's like hiding. Okay, this is a little Hourglass Lipstick. That's quite pretty, but it's like tiny. There's nothing in here. It's like barely even a product. Whatever, I'll keep it for now. That's fine. That can stay. We've got a lip lingerie by NYX, which I actually don't like that much, but I'm going to keep it anyway. I just find that the formula, I don't know, it's very drying. These are the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. These are like liquid lipsticks, and I really, actually, I don't think I like them all that much. I feel like they didn't stay that well and were kind of drying. I'm going to keep these three colors. I really like those. I'll give this a swatch. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I'll keep that one. I mean, that's all right. I'll keep that one too. Then we've got reds, which I love so they can stay. Australis for lower lips. Oh, beautiful. What is this? Laritzi Cosmetics Lola. I mean, that's actually really pretty. I'm, I'll keep that for now because that's like gorgeous. And then we've got the NYX liquid suede, which are really pretty. I've got a couple of colors of those. And this one I love. Isn't that so cool? These are Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. And I feel like I'm going to have to get rid of them because they're so old. I'll definitely get rid of this one because I don't use that color. But I still love this one. So I'll keep that for now. This is So Susan Cosmetics Pumpkin Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, that's pretty. I'll keep that. Got a bunch of ColourPop here. I'm not decluttering any of that. Actually, maybe I'll declutter this because I'm never going to wear this. Actually, no. I like that. I lied. That's pretty. These I feel like I'm going to get rid of. These Chi Chi Creamy Matte Lipsticks. Actually, I'll keep that color, but I'll get rid of the other two. So I'll keep my Kylie's. I've got some Bare Minerals glosses. Um, I'll get rid of that because I don't use it. This one here is called A-Lister. I'll get rid of that because I don't use it. I've got a NARS gloss here. This is Mesma. 
I'll get rid of that because I don't use it. Oh, this is Coral Craze by Gerard Cosmetics. I loved this lip gloss back in the day. The color's pretty, but it's starting to smell off, so I think I'm going to throw that away. This is a Chanel lip gloss, and I will never throw this away. My mum, okay, so when I was in high school, I always used to admire her makeup. I always loved this lip gloss, and one day she gave it to me because she said that it was too sticky for her, and I was like, what? I love it. It's beautiful. She later told me, like, when I was older, that she actually always loved this lip gloss and she never wanted to give it uh, give it away but I loved it so much that she just wanted me to have it I'll never throw that away because it, it means a lot to me we've got this Milani Bear Secret oh that's beautiful I'll keep that for now I mean I feel like I was supposed to throw that out the last time I really liked it this is my lipstick queen I mean that's beautiful but I don't really wear colored glosses normally I'll wear like a nude oh this is a Pericone MD no lip gloss lip gloss this is beautiful you can wear that alone or over the top and it's just like a gorgeous just, ooh, a gorgeous nude. Got an Urban Decay high color lip gloss in the shade Quiver. Like I said, I don't really wear colored lip gloss, so I'll give that away. This here is Jelly Pong Pong Lip Tensity Hydrating Lip Gloss in Necessity. Yeah, I'll give that away as well. And this here is Chubby Jelly Tint Pack. Oh, this is one of those like jelly tints. I'm gonna get rid of that because I'll never use it. These are like chubby. Um, so this one is, oh, that's like so small, Bansa. Uh, that's pretty. Not really going to use it. Oh, this is beautiful. This one here is Mysterious Red that my mum bought me for my birthday. Love it. We've got Pop Life, which is beautiful as well. This one here is by Maybelline. It's a color drama pencil. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'll keep that for now too. Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick by Sugar in Poison Ivy. That's pretty, but I'm not going to use it. And we've got a Lord and Berry Vogue Crayon Lipstick. No, I'm not going to use that. That can be thrown away too. Hey guys, so it's been a little while and I realized that I completely forgot about my brow products, my mascaras and my eyeliners. So I figured I should probably go through and declutter some of those as well. Okay, so this is the drawer that's underneath my dresser. And this is where I keep my brow stuff and then I've got mascaras and on this side is my eyeliners. So I'm gonna take everything out and then filter it back in. Benefit 3D Brow Tones, Benefit Gimme Brow. This is Make Me Brow by Essence. I think this is $2 and it's actually a really good dupe for Gimme Brow. The Essence wand is slightly bigger, but it's still a really good dupe. And I've got this shade in the Blondie Brows, just because my hair is going slightly blonder now. So on days where I want slightly lighter brows, I like to use this. We've got Cabral by Benefit, which is amazing. One of my favorite brow products. Now here's my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I have not touched this. Oh yeah, it's so dry. I haven't touched this in like a year. I think it's just time to see this go. This here is the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. I really, really like this. Goof Proof Brow Pencil, love that. Very similar to the Arch Brow. Precisely My Brow, love. The Urban Decay Brow Tamer. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise. I got this quite recently. It's like quite a thin pencil, but quite pigmented. And it's a slightly softer brown to what I've got to just mix it up when I want lighter brows. I've had this for ages. This is a Chi Chi Brow Pencil. Oh, it's barely got any pigment. Kind of looks like a regular eyeliner. Like it's just a full on pencil. I don't think I'll ever use that. I'm going to get rid of that one. This here is a Stila Stale Day Waterproof Brow Color. So this is kind of like a felt tip eyeliner, but an eyebrow pencil apparently. Oh, that is like way too light for me and I would never use something like that. Let's get rid of that. That looks more manageable. And this can stay here with the mascaras because that makes sense. So now we've got mascaras. And honestly, with mascaras, I go through them pretty regularly because I hate bad mascaras. So if I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it. This is the Their Real Tinted Lash Primer and it's amazing. I've got a backup of this ready to go. It's just so nice on natural days when you just want like a really natural lash. Got Bad Gal Bang, which I'm really enjoying. This is a little Ciate Wonder Wand. Essence Lash Princess, L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm not actually liking this very much. I really like how thin the wand is. It's really good for your lower lashes, but I find that it kind of clumps together. We've got a roller lash, one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Maybelline Lash Sensational, again, one of my favorite mascaras. This here I got quite recently. It's the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel. Then we've got a mini lash domination. Okay, so here we have eyeliners. Oh, we have another brow kit. What is this? Yeah, to be honest, this isn't really something I would reach for. We'll start on this side. I'm gonna take them all out. Maybelline Ice Studio Face of Australia. It's a smudge proof gel eyeliner. It's like a coppery brown. 
got a NYX white jumbo eye pencil. You never know when you might want a white base. We have Schwing eyeliner by the Balm. Keeping that. Exaggerate waterproof eye definer by Rimmel. Okay, so this is a double-ended pencil by Rimmel. I'm gonna get rid of that. So this is like my all-time favorite brown eyeliner. I think it's time to get rid of it. White eyeliner by Chi Chi. That actually feels pretty dry. I might get rid of this because I'm keeping the NYX pencil. NARS eyeliner. I didn't even know I had this. Okay, so onto the fun ones. I don't really use colored eyeliner that much, so I don't know if I will keep them. Maybe like if I've got a few of the same sort of color, I'll get rid of all of them but one. So this will be a maybe. No, that's so dry. See ya. I think I actually like the Nabi one the best though, because it's got kind of like a greeny blue. So I'll keep that one. This should have been in the other drawer. This is Eye Bright by Benefit, which I love. I don't really like that. I'm gonna get rid of it. I've got another navy blue, so let's have a look at that one. Ooh, that's really cool. So it's like a navy blue black with like sparkle in it. I'm keeping this one, getting rid of the Chi Chi. No, that's pretty dry. I'll get rid of that. Okay, so that was actually everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different. It's actually so nice to just get rid of a bunch of stuff that you don't normally use. Like I love doing this like to my closet all the time as well. I tried to do it to Michael's because I thought he had a ridiculous amount of clothing, but he wears like everything he has, which is weird because he has so many clothing items. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up, please and thank you. And if you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe if you like. And I will talk to you guys again really soon. Have a lovely day. Bye. Mix it all together. Oh, I don't know if that's going to match me. Is anyone else stressed? All right, so that's how we're looking. It doesn't look too bad color-wise.